So today I'm going to show you how to make the Mirror Universe Lieutenant Uhura costume. This also happens to be the favorite Uhura costume of almost every guy I know. So you want to start with just a plain red shirt. Mine happens to be a turtleneck, but you can just use a t-shirt. And you want to cut the sleeves off of both sides. And then you want to cut the collar off. And then you want to cut the front of it in the standard female uniform kind of off-kilter neckline. Just like that. And then get yourself some black fabric. And you want to fold that in half lengthwise. And then the open ends, you're going to fold under the collar about a quarter of an inch, and you're just going to sew the open ends under that all the way around the collar so the fold side is sticking up, just like that. And then you want to take a sewing pin and put it a little below your bust line. And then fold the shirt in half where that sewing pin is. You're just going to cut from that sewing pin down to the back, getting longer in the back because the shirt gets a little longer in the back. Just like that, so the front is a little shorter, right up Kirk's alley. And then just fold that under a quarter of an inch and hem the bottom of it all the way around. Just like that. So here's what you should have so far. And then if you find that it's too wide, just flip the shirt inside out and sew a couple lines down the side seams, bringing them in a few inches. So just sew in a few inches on the side seams. That'll make the shirt tighter if it's too loose. So for the skirt, I just took another red shirt and I cut a rectangle with two layers. And the bottom of it gets longer on one end. Then you just want to sew down the two sides, leaving the top open. And so then to make the top tighter, you just go through one layer, make a little tuck in the top, and stick in a sewing pin to hold it in place. You want these to be just little tucks, you don't want them to be actual pleats that go all the way down on the skirt, so just keep them small. Just little like half inch tucks. And go all the way around and then just sew them in place. You'll put a tuck every two or three inches until you have it tight enough to go around your waist and stay up. And so then you just want to hem the bottom all the way around. And then I took some gold fabric, some sparkly gold fabric. You just want to fold that in half. You can also use ribbon if you can find some, but I had this on hand. And you'll just sew that so it sticks up just a little bit above the black collar all the way around. And then use some more of that gold fabric to be the waist sash. Um, on Kirk's, I had this gold fringe, but I didn't really like it, so um, I left the fringe off of Ahura's. And then for the emblem, cut the circle and the dagger and then fold the circle in half and cut a little slit in it and then just on the back side stick the point right through the little slit just like that and then just take a little fabric glue and dab that on the back and then just put that in place on the front of the shirt and so for the snake bracelet, I actually have one of these somewhere, but I couldn't find it, so I just made one using some wreath wire and a strip of gold fabric. And I glued the wreath wire in between two strips of the gold fabric so that it's bendable. And for the earrings, I just cut two gold swirls, and I glued them together so that there was gold on each side. And then I took a clip-on earring finding, because I don't have pierced ears, and just tied it onto there. And of course, if you do have pierced ears, you can just use hooks. Hilarious, Mr. Scott. Now quit messing around and beam down the rest of my dress.